I, uh, you, you're not going to believe me, but I don't believe you. I, yeah, I started a you're business. You're not lie, are you? I tell no, you the truth. No, you no, tell no, the no. Truth. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> but I, I know he's lying. Yeah. Larry Gillum, RIP. <laughs> he's not dead, but he probably will be soon. The, uh, dead in their hearts. Yeah. I started a uh, business. <laughs> he don't have no soul. <laughs> no, no, no. No. He talked that out of himself a lot. Anyway. I uh, started a business doing... Uh, that was his first sale to the devil. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I started a uh, business doing brand management. And uh, what basically what I would do is, is if you had a real shitty website, I'd come in and say, hey, you, you got a shitty website. Let me help you out. The uh, I sold one job for about 600 bucks. And it was to an ABA basketball team. And I know what you're thinking. That was in the 60s and 70s. It's still going on. And uh, they needed help. To this day. Well, apparently like, they currently. need help. Yeah. Because we didn't know they're still alive. Right. See, now, now we put the word out. All the people that listen to the podcast will know. Yeah. The ABA is alive and well. Their alive. hits alive. on their website alive. Alive. <laughs> liable just to. Yeah. Almost double. Well, it did. It huh. tr- it took off tremendously. And so I actually went to a game to, you know, meet the people that I was working with, you know, and get some pictures of the players and all that jazz. And about halfway through the warm ups of the game before it even tipped off, I thought, y'all might as well just give me a jersey. Like, I don't know what y'all doing. This is, you know. It was like a pickup game at the Y. Yeah. There was one guy who could dunk, he was on the other team. And there was uh, about three guys who look like they are, they look like they are janitors at an elementary school. And I thought, if y'all got a big jersey, I'll just jump out there. You know what I mean? I can shoot the ball pretty well. But you got to have a big jersey. Yeah. yeah. At that time, you needed a real big jersey. Now I could probably find a 2X and wiggle in there. Squeeze in. Yeah. With some butter. But yeah, so that was an idea that I had that was good it took off for a minute it took off what happened is is if you, here's how a plane works if you get wait 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 here's how a plane works yeah I'm here we go bringing, with some science i'm gonna start bringing a notebook <laughs> yeah you should or you could just go back and watch it like all of our loyal fans well if you get going fast okay. enough yep. and the and you hit and there's wind behind you it'll lift you in the air <laughs> if it's behind you huh? yeah yeah but i would say that you're probably right, but I'm thinking that you know, basically I didn't have no wind. You need some, you need some propulsion. <laughs> yeah, you need. You need I just had an engine or you know something. I had a good idea, and then once I got that one contract, I was like, "Whoa, yeah, here we go!" And then they shit the bed, and then I was like, eh, "Let's do something else." And it was like I the parked right, it in the hangar. It was like the Wright brothers' first like hundred tries. Well, in yeah. case y'all can't mm-hmm. tell, Josh is back. Yes, he is. Well, he is back. Glad to be back. We did determine. The whole, yeah. the whole thing together. You're well, the mustache wax of the podcast. Yeah. I got extra. So yeah. What can I say? You know. Because in all honesty, it fell off the rails while you weren't here, and it, it was no fault of Dad or Earl. It was all me. I decided that I'm going to take a sabbatical now for about a year and a half. <laughs> so you guys hold it down. <laughs> <laughs> but we did come up with some good stuff while you were gone. Yeah. Okay. But we just wait for you to get back to to fill you in. And let you know what's going on. Yep. Because you're going to be a major part of this. Oh, yeah. Okay. The void's ready. We are getting the man back together. Yep. Yep. All right. And and we've come up with the name, the Magnificent Moustaches. Earl and the Magnificent Magnificent Moustaches. Moustaches. Yeah. Now, that sounds great. I'm I'm excited. Mm -hmm. Yes, Earl. You no. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I thought I thought it was going to be you, Earl. But he'll be cover of the album. Well, that that well, I figured we could just have mustaches, just like cartoon mustaches. Well, oh, yeah. see, it brought us to uh, because we thought of the first track is Minnie the Moustache. Mm-hmm. You know, and you think about Minnie Mouse, but Minnie the Moustache. So it'll be pictures of you know when we'll just sing about and talk about people with mustaches look like a mouse is on their top lip. Yeah, you know you've seen them people. 
Sam Elliott. Yeah, well, uh, bingo. Yeah. See, first, see, that's the easy part. That the, mustache is coming later. We got in the later up, years. Yeah, we yep. got to come up with the uh, words to the song, you know, for it. Yeah. So then, we got to write it. And, and figure did, out the you know the, the chords, the music to it. Well, 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 and the thing about it, we figured out what we can play. Okay, because we got requests already. Yeah, Kate got requests right. already. Okay, me and Kay, we gonna be real good on the tambourine. Yep, dueling tambourines. Yeah, yep. See, that's exactly. Earl's gonna play the radio, okay. uh, and for you, DJ Earl. Yeah, you gonna have to kind of pull the rest of it together. Yeah. So si- singing, the kazoo, we can do that. And a banjo. Yeah, that's probably going to be the hardest part. Yeah, I can't play a banjo. Banjo is really hard to play. Now I can play a ukulele real, real good. Maybe we toss in some. Okay, you know, like maybe we're just a Hawaiian themed mustache band. Hawaiian shirts. You got some. I know y'all got some. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Love Hawaiian shirt. I think that's the play. Yeah. If we the, do Hawaiian the, shirts, the I'm not wearing an undershirt or button mine. So that's fine. Heads up. That's even better, actually. <laughs> yeah. Also, you're going to have to get a mustache. Well, I'm working on it. It's looking good. You got to stop cutting it. Well, I don't, nope. what I, okay. You got to stop trimming it. You won't keep shaving up there. You yeah. got to stop trimming it. You just got to let it ride for about three months. That'll and give us. Well, I'm a little nervous about your moustache. I'm afraid it's going to poke one of your eyes out. Just <laughs> about the job. No, that's, well, that's what I was thinking. That, like, I, I see it, you know, when I'm doing it in the mornings. I'm like, man, you know, that could, you know, if I was, if I was a woman, I could use that to apply mascara. I could I could double task by using my mustache to apply my mascara. And then I thought, well, if I'm if it's a rock band, I could use mascara anyways. But no, I that's the problem with this mustache. See, I uh, there's too much curl in it, and ain't got enough. You know, there is not enough wax in the world that can keep it. You know, out like a conquistador. Mm. Which is what I really want. This is that's why I've been growing it this whole time is because I want to look like a conquistador. But I don't know. I think it's it's something else, man. It's something else. I'm excited though. I'm excited about the mustache band. Well, and, and we've 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 thought about the second track, and again, we don't have the words or the music to it, but the, Got the we, name. But we yeah, some. He named it. Guess what it's called? What's that? Wilford. You see, there's your, there's your yeah. uh, a side hustle that, you know, you just created your own little side hustle. You can start experimenting and developing a more robust mustache wax mm-hmm. that will hold, hold that, that thing out. Yep. Plus, if you can get a scent oh, yeah. to go with it. So now you got mustache wax that'll hold your mustache. Oh, and it smells like lavender or this something. one smells yeah. like a cigar <laughs> well there you go <laughs> that's more like it i think yeah yeah they got uh yeah man uh must if you're gonna the mustache journey isn't for everybody let me just say that yeah 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 because it is a lot of work as earl knows um and waxing a mustache is like waxing a surfboard i feel like except the surfboard's like 30 feet long yeah takes forever I mean, you just afterwards, everything in my bathroom is covered in wax. Like, <laughs> as a touch, you know, I mean, you don't think about everything you touch while you're in the bathroom, but everything's covered in wax. It's like if I was Winnie the Pooh and that was honey, I would be oh, yeah. in heaven. Yeah. You know, <laughs> and it's, it's, it's not for the faint of heart. So if you are, you know, thinking about going, you know, and growing you a mustache. Now, do you know the different uh, the different kinds of mustache? Cause that's that, ain't that called like a handlebar mustache? Cause yeah, some can, people call you, it a handlebar cause, mustache. Cause yeah. You, uh. yeah, I don't really pay attention to anybody else's mustache though, other than Earl's. Yeah, well, and Sam Elliott. <laughs> I start to say that's a given. Yeah, you know I mean, mm-hmm. if you didn't wax your like when you wake up fresh in the morning, mm-hmm. how long? In my mouth. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And you're not never you're fresh in the out. morning, are you? Yeah. Oh yes. Yeah, <laughs> well, that's that was the problem. That's why I shaved my face actually, because after my surgery, I you know I couldn't lay on my back, so I had to sleep on my stomach. And boy, howdy, I had a you know, I mean I had a beard, I had yeah. a pretty long beard. Every morning, that's you know beard for breakfast, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and it was uh, it got a little ridiculous. I was yeah. like, got to get rid of something, 
and I'm not getting rid of the mustache. Because, or Naomi. So yeah, I mean it's, it's here to stay. <laughs> yeah. So it was it was good. It was good. Been I, wise I feel choice. free. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So now tell us about the tell the not us tell the people uh, watching listening about your surgery because you had a unique experience. We basically told them that you had a. Uh, you tell them. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So basically, what happened was is I grew before you tail. get started, let me mention this, okay? I think, truth be known, you've been to the zoo about three times since you had your surgery, or b- this year, say. You know, and and I don't know if there's any correlation to what you're getting ready to tell these people or not. I just want to throw that out there. Well, I've actually been. The reason why I go to the zoo is I get the, um, I you know, I family feel, discount. Yeah, I feel, you know, yeah, they do give me a discount, but um, I feel a connection with the animals, you mm-hmm. know, it's especially now that I got whiskers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And so a lot of those, you know, a lot of those animals have whiskers. Do they look and at you different? They, no, it's kind of, it's kind of like a, you know, it's a gentleman thing. They, like, give me the nod. Uh, and they're gotcha. like, gotcha. you know, what's, a, what's up? What's happening? <laughs> cool mustache. And uh, so, yeah, no, it, we, I don't think it had anything to do with the zoo. Okay. I don't well, think. I just, um, it could have. Well, <laughs> you know, it could have. You never know what, you know, diseases animals have yeah. or which ones they give you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Don't pet them too hard. Yeah, don't pet them real hard. Yeah. And definitely don't get in the cages with them and congregate. That's frowned upon, number one, illegal, number two, and you could get eaten. Yeah. We figured that you had tried it, so. I did. Um, but, no, I, uh, yeah, had a had a surgery thought it was going to be pretty simple go in remove prehensile tail you know sew me up <laughs> hold on <laughs> you can't just skip over the head like everybody knows. you know yeah you know what you kind know, of tail did you have you know what how pre- long was you it you know what a prehensile tail is um yeah it, it wasn't long it hadn't sprouted yet mm. um <laughs> it was a it was a solid root yeah. Um, it had well, some about good, what six inches long? It was making good headway. Long. Yeah, I mean, no, it was. Could you grab a, a limb with it? Well, <laughs> the, the messed up part was is like it was growing in me instead oh. of out of me. Oh, so that's why you know that's why it was gonna. I thought it was gonna be a you know pretty simple procedure. Yeah, go just in, unroll it. Yeah, just you know go in. Uh, yeah, unroll it. Stoop. All right. Yeah, done. Yeah, you know, but no, wrong. It <laughs> apparently. Uh, you know, if you're not a monkey, your tail, you know, like most human tails don't grow outward, I guess. I don't know too many people who have tails, but. <laughs> I'm not sure I know any except for you. Yeah, I would I would think that, you know, a tail would sprout and just kind of, you know, go, grow out. Yeah. Uh, this one didn't. This one. Like you the know, Lord intended. Exactly. Like, yeah. how, you know, intelligent design. And, <laughs> and he, uh, you know, this one didn't. Yeah. This one was growing back in me basically you getting real backed up in the tail spiral yeah i was trying to grow down my leg yeah um but so i thought it was going to be a pretty simple procedure go in you know i, I thought they were going to you know roll it out snip it or you know incision bop take it out yeah sew me up be done i right. thought i didn't think it was going to be a big deal yeah turns Boy, out was i wrong <laughs> <laughs> how wrong can you be yeah it was it was terrible so it, uh I go in and, um, you know, it's like six in the morning because I scheduled my surgery for like eight, which I like. I liked it, you know, being early. I was hoping to be out of there by lunch, you know, get some uh, get some food on the way home. Yeah, we was hoping you'd be out by lunch too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so you go in. Um, I should have cut my beard beforehand because they make you wear a mask and stuff. I didn't really think about that. Afterwards, I didn't have to wear a mask, which... I'll make I'll let you make the decision on right. if that makes sense. What yeah. kind of mask do you have? Like a Joker mask or what? No. Uh, uh. Well, they actually thought I had a mask on when I walked in. Uh, because, you, yeah. because of my beard. So, yeah. And uh, because when my mustache right. is fully unfurled, it covers my, you know, it covers my lips. Yeah. Like a secret. Um, <laughs> but They were like, what are we doing today? Cutting your mouth? You're like, no, I have one. Yeah, no, it's under here. This is like drawing back the curtains, yeah. you know, on the stage. Surprise. <laughs> Working on the other end. There Let's they are. It. <laughs> turn him over <laughs> <laughs> but no uh so i went in um everything's you know normal i get back there they, wait, 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 wait. They everything you, normal you got a tail and everything normal <laughs> everything was normal, <laughs> I don't for, think it was normal everything was normal for me normal oh, re- normal okay. relative okay. Okay. you know did they um, juice you up before they took you back no oh <laughs> they no. didn't give you one they might not give a damn shot 
Well, yeah, they they hook. So I went back to the first the like the it was just a standard hospital room. Yeah, pre-op. So, yeah, pre-op. Room. Pre-op. And so they hooked me up, um, which is you know I don't I don't care I don't care about needles or anything. It doesn't really bother me. So I'm just I'm sitting there like okay, sweet, hyping myself up. Yeah. And so they hook me up. They get you know some fluids in me to go ahead and start putting some. Um, I don't know what they put in me. Frankly, they could have put anything in me at that point. Um, Fentanyl. No, they, they could have. <laughs> I think they put detailer in you. Yeah. <laughs> that would have made it a lot easier. I think just fall out on its own. Yeah. Well, if that, that would actually be a science man i don't know if you could i don't know if they <laughs> yeah. could do that but if they could that would be it. earl's on awesome. he already he's already i see the wheels turning <laughs> yeah <laughs> i see earl in a lab coat just like dropping something in like a petri dish like growing but so i <laughs> go back there they, in a mausoleum in china on the top floor mm-hmm. <laughs> you just figure it out <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> so so i'm sitting there i'm all hooked up i'm ready to rock and roll they got a hairnet on me which i'm yeah, that was an official. Yeah, they needed that. Yeah. yeah. The, I'm surprised they didn't give me one of those beard nets. <laughs> right. But they instead they opted to give me a mask, which my beard hangs out of, and right. then put a hairnet on me. So I'll let you decide if that makes sense or not. But um, they, they hooked me up, and everything's going good. The first doctor comes in. Let's me know, like, hey, I'm the assistant. I guess they're they he's the assistant doctor. Well, no, he's doing doing the residency or something. Oh, oh, oh. oh so oh. he he's practicing. Yeah, yeah, it was like a practice. And they're gonna practice on you. So so let learn, me know. That, learner. Oh, yeah, yeah. That kind of explained everything to me. Like, hey, we're gonna take you back there. You, you know, you'll fall asleep. You wake up. We'll have you all hooked up. You'll be good. Cut your and, tail out. Yeah, yeah we we'll have you know, your tail Procedure's gone. gonna be about an hour long. Um, let me know all those you know uh, uninteresting details. Yeah. And then the anesthesiologist comes in, and this fella, I can tell that, um, I can tell by the way he walks in, he cares. And then also kind of, I felt like he cared a little bit too much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So he walks up to my to my bedside there, and I'm, you know, I'm sitting at this point. Um, they got those weird uh, leg things on me to keep my legs from, you know, shackles, uh, some flying <laughs> up. <laughs> yeah, a little compression thing. Yeah, pull yeah. Up. So they got those on me, and I'm I'm feeling like I'm about to go to the moon. Which, yeah, I mean, you're getting your tail cut out. Mm-hmm. Are they prepping you like it's damn open heart surgery. Well, it was it was something like that. There we it go. Was something like that. I didn't know at the time that it was going to be, but it was something like that. And he comes in and. Uh, like I said, he, you know, he seems like a, he's got a real calm demeanor. Mm. Like he's got, which, you know, who, who knows, maybe he's, you know, taking whip it. So the anesthesia stuff, <laughs> you know, who, who knows, maybe he did, but he comes in, he comes easing up to the base, like, Mr. King, how you doing? Um, I'm Dr. So-and-so anesthesiologist. I'll be, you know, putting you down and bringing you back up. <laughs> yeah. In, in nice words, he was like, basically I'm gonna put you to sleep. And I was like, okay, sweet. You know, when's the start? You know, he's, but. He asked you, like, you want whole... a guillotine or a rear naked choke? <laughs> like, mm. Rear naked choke, please. Let's try it with meds. <laughs> it's a, uh, but this, what, it's kind of awkward at the beginning because he gets real close. Like, not to the bed. Like, he's leaning over the bed. He got real close to Super close face. to my face. <laughs> oh. Yeah, and it was, like, not, not like, it was like this close, yeah. like no, like he was like this, like close. you in the microphone. Like, I didn't did. want to breathe because I knew I would be breathing in his breakfast breath. And did he whisper to you, "Hey, big fella," or was, something like that? No, he uh, he did. He, he <laughs> it, it was it, it made me a little uncomfortable, and then I was like, "Man, what are, you do, what are you doing, Josh? You don't get uncomfortable, just yeah. you know, ride you get ready with to it. get your tail cut out. How can you be uncomfortable? <laughs> <laughs> I was already uncomfortable anyways. I had a tail in me, so <laughs> so I. Uh, uh, I'm dealing with this, and you know he's making me feel a little awkward. Yeah. And but it's okay because I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna be asleep in a second. It'll be yeah. fine. Gonna be just fine. <laughs> he can do whatever he wants to. <laughs> no, really. That's that's what was going through my mind. I was like, boy, if you, boy, you got a malpractice lawsuit coming if you oh, try yeah. anything, boy. I'm on this hospital. He was already trying to remember uh, what's the Nastapulo's phone number. Yeah, I was like, but, oh no, it's starting five, to fade. Five, 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 five. 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 Four. How many fives? How many fives are in a phone number? <laughs> <laughs> Do 
Do I have to dial the area code? <laughs> or is it all fives? What is the area code? Is it fives? <laughs> Where am I? So he... <laughs> So he's telling me all this and, you know, it's super awkward because he's real close to my face and, and he's, you know, he's like, we'll take, we're going to take real good care of you and uh, mm. you'll wake up, you know, you'll be in recovery. It'll be good. And uh, I was like, okay, sweet. You know, back I, up. Let's do it. Let's yeah. Do it. Yeah. <laughs> I hope it will be good because if it's not, then we got bigger problems. Right. But, so that was, you know, that was fine. He had real soft hands too. Which, <laughs> wait know. a minute. How'd you feel his hands? He grabbed How'd my, you know he, about? Oh, he grabbed my. He, no, he was. <laughs> it was like he was consoling me after the death of a loved one. <laughs> like, like he came up to me, gra- like I was laying, and he grabs my arm and like, okay, Mister King, we're gonna take good care of you. I'm like, okay, well, your hands are cold and soft, so. <laughs> <laughs> don't know if that should make right. me should don't know if that should make me feel good or bad. Good but. start anyway. <laughs> did he just hold your arm or did he just did yeah. he do one of these? No, he didn't. It. He didn't. Okay. Rub it. That would have made me feel weird. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That would have been it. That would have been the straw. <laughs> and uh, hey, Daniel, let's get this show on the road. Quit <laughs> rubbing my arm. So uh, it wasn't too long after that they wheel me back. They of course they take the whole bed. I can't walk. So. What music did they play when they were wheeling you in? The final countdown. Hell yeah. <laughs> Um, <laughs> so they, they wheel me back and I always, I haven't had a lot of surgeries, but I've had enough surgeries to where I kind of, you know, I try to be jovial with the, the staff that's taking care of me. Cause I want them to know like, Hey, he's not a jerk. Let's take good care of him. And yeah. I don't need this tail. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, uh, so they're wheeling me back and uh, we get into the operating room. They open the door. We go through like four doors and, you know, like, corridor, and that's all, that's all that's playing in my head is like, man, you know, <laughs> this is this is something here we go yeah and at that point that's the first time i get a little nervous and i'm like man you know going back now yeah i'm here i'm in it can't get up i can't get out of here today i'm shackled to the bed when you went like through that last door there's not one two three four when you went through that last door did they start playing any of that (laughs) now that would have been i would have liked that yeah that'd been (laughs) cool the doc comes in yeah (laughs) Just you're has passing a, just out has a from a chain on with a lock on it and like yeah. the two the fist things. You're like, passing out from the anesthesia. He's like, can you see me? <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> so <laughs> night night, buddy. So I don't really remember it, but I, so I, I like. I mean, I try to you know be friendly and be jovial, and you know, I cracking some jokes, and uh, we go back there, and I'm I'm laying, and I <laughs> the messed up part is they take my glasses. So I can't wear contacts or glasses. So or I can't see your tail. I can't see any. Well, I can't see that anyway, unless I got a mirror. But so they they take my glasses. So I I mean I have terrible vision. I have very bad. I'm probably almost legally blind. So I, everything's blurry. And so I see the you know I see the lights up. You know the the operating lights and stuff. And we're in there and they're like, all right, uh, you know, Mr. King, we're going. You know, they started the anesthesia right as they were bringing me out of the room. So it's you know I'm feeling pretty good. It's hitting me by this point, and they uh, said, "Okay, Mr. King, you ready?" And I was like, "Let's do it." And so they put the, <laughs> they put the laughing gas on me to knock me out for sure. You know, to, to, I guess the anesthesia keeps you down, whereas this stuff like puts you down initially. Anesthesia is like the uh, Evander Holyfield, and then the laughing gas is the Mike Tyson. Yeah, mm. yeah, knocks you out real quick. Yeah. <laughs> so I so I'm laying there, and you know I'm. Uh, 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 I can't see. Like I can't yeah. s- really see anything. But you're not asleep yet, are you? No, I'm not asleep. I'm. You just I'm, can't move. I'm not fully coherent. I'm kind of. You know, I'm getting a little confused at this point. I'm like, okay. Yeah, if you got pulled over, you was going to jail. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Yeah. And so they put it on my face, and I'm like, I'm gonna try to fight this. I'm trying. <laughs> that worked out for you. I did. That's what that was. A bit, that's what went through my mind. I was like, man, I wonder how long I can hold out. Like, I wonder if I can delay their like their lunch. Like, <laughs> like, like so. So they put it on me, and so I, I you know, I'm, I'm getting kind of out of it, and I close my eyes, and I'm sitting there, and I. <laughs> You start hearing the siren? Yeah, I was uh, start hearing. Start, start, crime hear. happening outside. Yeah, they this cut is them not off. going good. That's that was re- that was respectful. They cut them off when they went by. Right. Um, so uh, they knew they knew we were recording. Yeah. And uh, so I'm I'm sitting there. My eyes are closed. I'm laying on the bed, and but I'm still coherent. So I closed my eyes before I actually had to, 
And so I, I'm trying to listen to what they're saying. I started saying so you're like, fooling them, what? Yeah, I was. I was. I was. I was she playing possum. Start before you was ready. <laughs> I was selling. That's what I was doing. Yeah. I was selling. And so I, uh, I wanted to hear what they were saying. I wanted to know what that conversation is like. Like, yeah. oh, you knew they were gonna make that, fun of you. That fat he got a down. tail growing out. Yeah. Where's a, a tail? Can, can you be, believe? Can you believe this? We're Where's the rest of his tail. ass at? <laughs> <laughs> He's got a really small butt. Also, how are we going to flip him on his stomach? Yeah. Like, <laughs> we should have asked for his help before he went out. Yeah, yeah, they should have. I would have been happy to lay him. <laughs> so I don't know. I had a bruises on my arms when I woke up, so I know where they picked me up. <laughs> God. <laughs> <I did. laughs> so I, I see all the, like, there's a lot of a lot of people in there. Like, I've seen three people that I knew. Most of these people have never seen this before. No, <laughs> most of them They get there, everybody in the hospital get around. This is the guy has got the tail. Look, him, the, look at this guy. Look at this guy. <laughs> so there's a, there's, I counted like eight people or eight, <laughs> eight <laughs> objects that look like people. Because I couldn't really tell. One of them's an IV drip. One of them's just another door. You're like, I don't know, eight people in there. <laughs> yeah. I think. Well, no, I knew it's it had, three people. I knew it had to be a lot of people to lift me. Like, oh, I was yeah. like, okay. <laughs> so but, there were eight people in there. Did they have pizza in there by chance? I'm just I, no, I, I don't. I think that was afterwards. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think that was afterwards. They I had, had to make sure. It didn't, and, yeah, yeah, make sure it went well beforehand. But so I, I'm laying there and my eyes are closed. I'm fully, not fully coherent, but coherent enough to know where I am. Not you know, be asleep yet. And so I'm sitting there and. Uh, I don't hear him say anything like he's out, you know, ready to go, you know, he's asleep, anything like that. So I wait for about 30 seconds and I realize I'm about to actually go to sleep and I, I wake up and I'm like, gotcha. <laughs> no one, no one was around me. No one was looking like they were all <laughs> like they were, they were all like doing their like prep, I guess, like getting their utensils ready. And stuff. So no one, no one was around me facing me or anything like that. And I was like, dang, like that was that wasted. Was, all that effort. Yeah. Wasted. All that, so that then, was it. Gotcha. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's essentially how it went. I was like, mm, well, time to go to sleep. Yeah. So, I went to sleep, um, and I think this, you know, my the problem area, my tail is actually, I mean, it's it's not large. I yeah. mean, it's not like if I were comparing it to anything, it would be like a you coin know, purse. A, no, <laughs> no, not like a coin purse. It, uh, like um, I'm trying to think, like a. Hmm. You ever seen a like a, a coffee bean on a tree? Not like a coffee bean in a bag, but like a green coffee bean. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, so it's like it's like that big. Yeah. So I was thinking, you know, half dollar size. Boom, mm-hmm. pull it out. So I wake up, pluck it. Yeah, pluck it. <laughs> basically. <laughs> <laughs> so I wake up and it's um, I'm in recovery. Um, and I always like uh, being in recovery because it's funny because I don't know what <laughs> anesthesia does to me. And mm-hmm. you know you made it. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. I wake up and I'm like. Oh, that's where I'm at. I'm in the hospital. I just had, you know, I just had something done. But it's funny because every time, I don't know what anesthesia does to me, but I cry. Like, I cry in recovery. And it's not like sobbing. It's yeah. just like, it's just like tears just streaming. Yeah. And I'm not crying. Yeah. Like, I'm not actually crying, but it's just like, I don't know, my eyes get super, you know, moist or what it is. <laughs> super moist. Yeah, I don't know if there's like extra water in there or what it is. It's all that saline they pumped you full of just it, coming but, back out. It must be. I, must, I was too hydrated probably because yeah. I, I try to stay hydrated. So it's probably it's like it's got to come out somewhere. <laughs> and didn't have a tail anymore. Didn't have a spigot. So, <laughs> <laughs> so so I'm sitting there, and, and Naomi's beside me, and I'm, no, laying, you're not. I'm laying on my side. Yeah, I was going to say, you're not sitting I'm here. I'm laying there. <laughs> you, know, you, know, you know what I mean. Yeah. I'm laying there, and uh, I still got everything hooked up to me. And they took the mask off of me, but they left the hairnet. <laughs> I think it thought just looked good on you. I guess so. They were like, hey, that's a big male lunch lady. That's, <laughs> that's rare. <laughs> Take it in. Take it in. <laughs> And uh, so I'm laying there, and uh, I'm crying, <laughs> and I'm laying on my side. And the the first thing I remember saying to Naomi is, "I feel heavy." 
Hmm. Yeah. See, she said you are. Yeah, that's what she said. She was like, "Well, you are. You know, you normally don't lay on your side." And I you was didn't like, lose no weight when you didn't. We were right. Well, <laughs> yeah. except for your tail weight. I was I gonna say you post a picture of that hole they gave me, and you'd be like, "Dang, you lost about ten pounds, boy." Mm. But we'll get to that later. Um, <laughs> oh boy. Yes. Yeah, so, so they. Uh, so I wake up and I'm laying on my side, and I, that's why I kind of roll like just my top portion on my like my shoulder you know to try to get some air in my sternum because i was i was like struggling to breathe i was mm-hmm. like damn i need to go on a diet because <laughs> <laughs> i was feeling like my chest was like caving mm-hmm. in on itself and uh so i was you know i'd roll over and naomi tells me that i i'm you know I, I wasn't saying anything but when i woke up that i was crying number one yeah but number two i was you know uh, I wanted some Sprite. Mm-hmm. Also, another you know fat thing. And I was like, that's why I feel heavy is because I've been drinking all these Sprites. Because you, know, you know when you when you get uh, like yeah. when you get sick with like a you know a, like bronchitis or you know something like you know anything upper respiratory like hey it puts a, it puts a Sprite, puts a sprite, yeah, sprite, sprite will fix it yeah. yeah either a ginger ale or a Sprite will fix it yeah. and I was like yes hey, Sprite will fix you know this Mateo. too. My tail hole, mm-hmm. and I just mm-hmm. wanted a sprite, really. But uh, so I'm, I'm laying there, and the nurses come in, and they kind of explain what's going on to Naomi. I mean, to me too, but you know, I don't. Yeah, I'm out of it still, and I'm coming in and out. And uh, it's funny. I actually have to get uh, I have to get Naomi to send you the videos. We can we can post some of those. Yep. Um. So <laughs> I. Uh, so I'm laying there, and I don't really. I mean, I know I can. I can't really feel anything on my back because it's still numbed up. I guess because of the, I don't know if they, you know, lidocaine it, no oh, yeah. it, or you know, just from the uh, trauma. Uh, but I can't feel anything. They just had like one of those things that you the um, packets that you rip to pour in a bottle of water. Mm-hmm. They just had one of those with fentanyl. They're just like <laughs> sprinkling on there like yeah. miracle growth. They're like this is fine. Yeah, this is gonna do just fine. <laughs> So uh, I, I'm kind of uh, I'm coming to more so after you know a little while, and um, I'm like, hey, how's it look? Mm. And so I, I'm, it's it's funny because normally you know when you roll over you roll on your back and the other way. Mm. I can't do that, and you gotta roll it like an alligator. At, What's that? Who'd you ask? Uh, how's it look? Nah. Oh, and and and, and she she's seen it. No, no. Oh. I want. I, that's so. I'm. I'm. I had to roll over because she's on this side of me, and I'm kind of laying on this side. So I wanted to see, you know, what it looked like. And at this point, <laughs> because I was like, okay, well, you know, what happened? Yeah, I gotta see. You <laughs> yeah, know, I gotta assess the situation. <laughs> and also, where's my tail at? I told yeah. you guys I wanted to keep it. <laughs> right. Where's the Still jar? Is it, it in a right. jar somewhere? Yeah. What'd y'all do with it? Apparently, yeah. it's not cancerous, but you know. Didn't get to keep it, yeah, which is unfortunate. Yeah. yeah. What did they think he was going to do? Plant it? Sprout another you? That's what I was hoping. Yeah. To clone me. Well. But, uh, so I roll over on my stomach, you know, I roll over the not, you know, standard way you normally roll over in a bed, in a hospital bed at that, that's kind of sitting up. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's a whole thing. Yeah. And I roll over. And at this point, I realize like, hey, I can't, you know, I can't really um, move my legs so good because there's something down there. <laughs> I felt like it was a rope. It wasn't a rope. It was a. Uh, it was a tube. Mm. It was a tube. Little did I know, the tube was running from my previous tail area <laughs> out, and so I tried to roll over, and it was like I was. Uh, it was like I was hog tying myself, <laughs> and so I, I roll over. She takes a picture of it, shows me, and I'm like, "Ooga, <laughs> that's a lot." And, <laughs> And uh, so it, it's a, it, they have a, so they put all the orange stuff on me. Yeah, iodine. The iodine to, I guess, you know. Uh, it lets them know where it's at. <laughs> neutralize me or cleanse me. <laughs> and uh, they have little, like, drawings on my back. Yeah. Like doodle. Yeah, Cartoon figures. Well, yeah, like yeah, doodles. Like yeah. I, they marked the cut spot. Like they did oh, yeah. that in the pre-op, but then I think they also went back and like doodled because yeah. they had they scheduled for an hour, and I think they got it done in like 40 minutes, so they had to do yeah. something. Tic-tac-toe. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> that's, it's fine. It's whatever. Um, but there's like a whole sheet of tape on mm-hmm. me, like from like the size of my back almost, but like going down to my, you know, like right here on the backside up to like halfway up my back. and But it's not, you know, it's like, 
smaller than my whole body. Um, and I'm like, okay, well, I feel that. You know, little did I know at that time, that's what's holding the uh, the sponge in me. Like the that's what's sealing me up. That's what's sealing the wound vac up, which is what they which is what the the tube leads to the the sponge that's now inside me. So yeah. they replaced your tail with a sponge. And basically, what well, them pink sponges you think they just put the whole thing in there? Well, it's like one of those car wash yellow sponges. Yeah, yeah. they could have fit the whole thing in there from the size of it. <laughs> they could have just taken a, instead of using all the medical grade stuff, they could have just taken a you know a car wash sponge. Yeah. Plop it in there, done everything else the same, and it would have been fine. Right. But, no, I, so after that, I don't really – I mean, I, I remember laying in recovery for a long time. Yeah. Like, very long. And the reason was, you know, I found out after the fact is they were trying to get in touch with my insurance company to approve a portable wound vac. So they had me hooked up to one that was yeah. like, you know, hook, hooks up to the beds. Right. So I couldn't take it with me. Well, they were, you know, for three hours, they were yep. trying to get a, a wound vac, you know, approved through insurance. Thanks, with, insurance. Yeah, racket. Yeah. Let's uh, just rename it. And so I was, I had plenty of time. As When I walked out of there, I was fully coherent. Do you remember no, what you said to the lady at the desk when we were coming, pulling up to pick you up? No. <laughs> maybe not fully coherent <laughs> so we took the uh suburban to go get him right because he's got to lay down on his stomach and he's too tall for most cars so i walk up to the door and dad is pulling the car up well there's a line of car you come you know there's two front doors right well the one you go to to pick up a surgery patient there's a line of cars so i'm up there and I see Josh inside, or I don't see Josh, but he calls me, and I pick it up, and he said, hey, I see you, and he's inside looking out at me, (laughs) he's he's waving, (laughs) and I said, "Uh, you coming out, he's like, they want, they want to wait till you pull the car up here, I said, cool, I said, dad's in line to pull it up here, we're just waiting on these people in front of us, and uh, this is when it got a little testy, because Josh is now frustrated and I don't think he's in pain yet, but he's wanting to get out of there. Yeah, I'm ready to leave. I've been laying in the bed for two and a half hours fully, yeah. not fully, you know, coherent, but ready to leave. I'm we, like, okay, what are we doing? We are extremely frustrated and ready to leave, ready to get Josh and take him home because we've been sitting out there for about four hours waiting on insurance. So that's you, insurance. Yeah. Uh, so finally, it gets close and they're josh like they won't let me come out till they see the car in front of the door and i'm like okay and so we're the next car in line behind you know beside the door so josh can see the car from inside and he's still on the phone with me and he's like i'm gonna go there's the car right there she's like oh it has to be in front of the doorway and he looked at the lady and said bitch i'm going home (laughs) and started walking out well then (laughs) so we finally pull up we're getting Josh in. There's a lady who works at the hospital there with a wheelchair full of shit. Like, not a person, but boxes and bags. and Stuff. We didn't know what it was. And so she's just kind of following Josh. And I looked at Josh. I said, is that your stuff? Josh said, nope. <laughs> so we get Josh in the car, and the lady's like, here you go. I'm like, what is that? She's like, oh, that's the stuff for his wound back and all that. And uh, she's, so I'm trying to get Josh in. And then she just keeps pushing the wheelchair closer and closer to me. So finally I said, bitch, wait a minute. <laughs> Back up. So I get Josh in there. I said, all right, now I'll get it. I said, hey, she, and now I got all the shit out in beside Josh. And she just standing there with the wheelchair. I said, you can go. <laughs> We're she good walks now. back inside. So in the midst of about four minutes, me and Josh had told two ladies at the hospital, hey, bitch, <laughs> calm down. <laughs> And they were like, y'all brothers were like, yeah, bitch. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> what, what gave it away? <laughs> so on the way home, he was coherent. He was talking. He said uh, about halfway home, I, I brought him a bag of snacks. I figured he might get hungry. I was all the way in Greenville. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. I was very hungry. And uh, he <laughs> said bag, he was. <laughs> like, early, bag, bag of snacks and a Sprite. Yeah. When oh, we, I had, oh, yeah. When we got on the way, I was like, hey, bag of snacks. You're like, no, nah, I'm good. That's because I, I felt said, sick. I said, there's a water in there. And you said, let me get that water. So he drank the water. And then he said, I feel sick. I said, well, eat some of them 
pretzels in there. So he did, and he said, "What else you got?" <laughs> where, where are we getting dinner? Yeah, <laughs> that's what. Totally that's network. what I was concerned with. It was a, then the recovery process was a lengthy time. Yes. Oh, I forgot that. Uh, I forgot to mention the hell they gave me about actually like leaving out of the hospital. So when you know everything's said and done, they get the insurance approved. They got all our supplies. They bring a wheelchair, and it's you know it's a procedure that you have to be wheeled out by a nurse. Yeah, it's the same dumbass lady who kept trying to wheel it into the back of the different suburban. lady. No, different lady. Oh, uh, this was a nurse. This was a shout out to all the nurses and the doctors because they were actually very very good. Well, this lady was one grade A dumbass bitch. That's a CNA or uh, yeah. breed or something. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> got a blue vest on. Just came from Walmart. Yeah, Mon M. Double timing. Yeah. <laughs> Moonlighting at the hospital. Um, so, uh, they pull it up to the recovery curtain, you know, and they, they open the curtain. I'm like, okay, sweet time Ta-da. to go. Yeah. I was like, here I am <laughs> <laughs> coming out of the gorilla curtain. And, uh, so they, they tell me that, all right, Mr. King ready to go. I was like, hell yeah, I've been ready to go for a long time. And so the, you know, the nurse helps me up and they're kind of steadying me to make sure I'm good. And I've been waiting so long. I know I'm fine. Like I, I'm, I'm pretty coordinated. I don't have an issue with, you know, if I, if I'm going to fall, I'll tell you, like if I'm uneasy, I'll tell you. I'm yeah. Hey, like, look out. I'm not, yeah, I'm not bashful <laughs> about it. Yeah. I'm, I'm not going to hide it from you because it's going to hurt both of us. Yeah. Oh shit. Uh, I'm tipping over. Yeah. <laughs> so, so they, they're, they're like babying me up. Like I'm 84 years old. And I'm like, no, look, I'm, I'm fine. Like I'm, and they're like, well, you got, you they, of course they say, well, you got flip flops, you know? So I just, I'm like, okay, yeah, I wear these every, like every day almost. And I'm fine. Trust me. Like I would tell you if I was uneasy and I'm like, okay, well, uh, just take a seat in here and, uh, you know, we'll, we'll wheel you out. And I was like, now we got a problem. Yeah. You, you for real? And uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, just take a seat. Well, well, yeah, I was like, no, no, no. Like, you, like, I thought you, you joking. Were, I thought you were joking at first because yeah. you were like, take a seat. And they're like, oh, oh, yeah, but uh, we, it's, it's protocol. We have to, we have to wheel you out. And I was like, mm. so this is going to be the first time of the day that I've had an issue where I'm going to be like, look, here's what's going to happen. I'm like, ready to go home. I'm fitting to hit you with a DB, this, and it's going to be hurtful. Yeah, this is going to hurt your feelings. I've been kind up until this point. I feel like everybody here likes me a smidge. You know, that I'm not an a-hole. Yeah. And <laughs> so I, I literally I, I stand up, and I'm looking at this nurse, and we're having like a, a, a moment of silence to see who's going to crack first. And mm-hmm. I'm like, i tell you what. How about this? And they, they had my wound vac in like a little satchel that I could wear, you know, like a man purse. And I, I'm going, uh, I'm like, you know what? We'll compromise. I've got to be wheeled out of here. i got a great idea. Since this is attached to me, this is me now. This is a part <laughs> of my person. So I took my wound vac satchel off, sat it in the wheelchair along, you know, I, I got, they had other boxes there, which I guess they were going to carry. Yes. And I took those boxes, put it in the wheelchair, and then actually took my wound vac and put it on top. I said, Sweet. Now I'm in the wheelchair. Let's go. <laughs> so I, I was pushing the wheelchair, <laughs> pushing my old wheelchair out. And they're like, oh, man. And I could tell it was, it was blowing bothering, their mind, it was bothering the nurse yeah. that she could not get me to sit in this wheelchair. And I'm like, look, you don't have the hole in your ass. Like, you're not the one who's going to be sitting on a freshly cut wound. Yeah, ours are different. Yeah, we have two different uh, – we're operating differently right now. Yeah. I understand that you have protocol. You're, you're afraid that you're going to get in trouble. If somebody tries to get you in trouble, just tell them, Hey, he refused. He, you know, he wouldn't let me, you know, he make threatened him to sit punch down. me. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that was a whole thing. Uh, and they were so uncomfortable with me walking, which was the most frustrating part because I knew I was fine. I knew for a fact, like, I'm not one that's good. I don't have any shame in the, like, telling you if I'm hurt, if I'm, you yeah. know, uneasy, if I'm off balance. I'll tell you, like, straight up, hey, I need to stop. Hey, I need to get my bearings. Yeah. Nothing. I was completely fine to walk. And they're walking around me like, oh, God, yeah. I'm sure he's okay. I'm like, I'm, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. So by the time, <laughs> so that whole walk with that nurse 
was like a test. It was like a sobriety mm. test. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> like I'm fine. She was like, here, I got this pen. You're gonna follow this. I'm like, no, I'm not doing that. I can't see. I gotta get out. Of Say here. the alphabet backwards. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> can't do that. <laughs> Sober. Huh? Yeah. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, Start from Q. What? What? I don't know that. I don't even know where it is in sequential order. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't start from Q in sequential Q, order. A B C D. So, so that's what led to the you know the yeah. the, the, the the tenseness. Yeah, the flagrancy we had. Yeah, that was at the door, and you know, like I said, shout out to the nurses and stuff. They were yeah. all really kind, except that one that when we were leaving, she was you, you gotta you gotta calm down. These, yeah, you people, these people who are leaving the hospital are under enough stress. Yeah. Like they just had something go on if they're in the hospital. So, right. you know, maybe take it easy. The last thing they need you to do is, you know, hardball them into a damn wheelchair just so you can wheel them 65 feet. Yeah, try to make them take a, you know, a, a bite of a protocol sandwich. Like, yeah. That's, don't don't do that. Calm down with that. So, Put your mask back on and shut up. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Or your hair net good. or whatever. <laughs> so. Oh, you're still wearing a hair net this time? Yeah, he got on the, in the car with him. He was in. Yeah, he wore it the whole way home. He didn't and really, I was, listen, I was good. It, didn't he? Yeah, I was good with everything. You know, we got Josh in the car, Casey in the car. We get ready to pull out, okay? And I go about eight feet, and here comes a nurse. Hey, wait, 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 wait! You forgot your tail. You forgot your tail. <laughs> Josh, you forget your tail. Oh yeah, yeah they kept it. <laughs> yeah, they weren't giving it back. They probably donating it to. Uh, they probably selling it to science. No, they probably are. The yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, they could probably do some... Yeah, they could have made a quick connect, Earl, where you could just attach it to another animal. That's right. Or maybe, you know, maybe like a hurt monkey or something can use it. Maybe, I, you know, maybe it's like donating organs after you die. There you go. Donating my tail. Before you died. Greenville Zoo. Yeah. Went to one of the monkeys. Now there's a monkey out there with just a weird little tail. It's just, just weird, like, like not doing anything. Uh, yeah, like a small. <laughs> he don't like, even wag. Human flesh oh, tail. <laughs> 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 well, that was an interesting experience, but we're glad you're back. Yeah, I'm glad to be back. Um, yeah, apparently it was a pretty major surgery because you could have. That's like that's one of the first first jokes I made when I saw how big the wound was. I was like, man, that's a putt putt hole right there. <laughs> you just hit it right up my legs. You know, my legs got to be together so the whole ball can get up there. But boy, it was it was something else, man. I think the the measurements they they did at the beginning it was like three and a quarter inches wide, uh, eight and a half inches long, and I want to say two and a half inches deep. Shit. Dang, one of your cats can sleep in there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was worried about it. I was mm. worried about Cookie climbing in there and like trying to, you know, get in their little cave. But the worst part was, sorry, I don't know what the worst part was. Probably the whole thing. Worst but, part for you? Yeah, <laughs> worst part for me was is that first day. Whenever uh, uh, the first time I came over after that was like the next day or something, and you were like, "Yeah, take a look at this picture," mm-hmm. and showed me a picture of it. Yeah, no warning. And uh, then he I said, "Give him a warning." Uh, uh-uh. he said, "Look at this." <laughs> He said, you see that white part in there? I said, yeah. He said, that's my bone. I was like, oh, that's my oh, tailbone. Ugh. Yeah, man. It was Cut you down else. to your bone to get your tail out. Yeah, so now it's just your bone. Times, I want, hey, let me show you. I said, nope, nope. I don't want to see it. Nope, nope. I don't want to see it. That's what I'm going to get. That's your Father's Day present. Yeah, oh. sorry. <laughs> I got it put on a canvas. Yeah, it's blown <laughs> up. Hang it up in the house. <laughs> <laughs> that would be hilarious. <laughs> It wasn't, funny why, it's funny. It wasn't, yeah, it wasn't funny why it's well, happening. It's funny now, yeah. It's funny yeah. now. It wasn't funny at the time. Uh, yeah, so the, um, like, probably a week. So the first week. Uh, well, explain this wound vac to us. So basically a wound vac is for, like, they give them to gunshot victims or anybody who has, like, a pretty, like, a large <laughs> size wound. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's what I said. That's the first thing they told me. I was like, okay, geez, what, how's it How's it look? Well, who yeah. shot me? I think that's why I asked, well, how's it look, yeah. actually. Um, so, it basically. Who shot JK? Man, y'all know what I'm talking pop, about. Pop. Um, the, so the, how it works is, is there's, like, a, a sponge like a, a black sponge that they cut down to the size of your wound and they mm-hmm. put it in you in your wound and then they there's like a little there's a hose that comes with it and one end has like a little circular thing that has like a opening in the center and so they put that directly on the sponge and then they tape around it and then they you know tape everything else to kind of seal it up when you fire it up you know when you pull start it but push oh, button baby push does it button. sound like a vacuum cleaner yes nice 
Yes, if it's not hooked up correctly, mm-hmm. and that's how you know if it's not if it's making if it's making like a small weed eater noise. That's how you know you got a hole somewhere. <laughs> mm. uh, I could, yeah, I feel in like your I, back. I, I, yeah, I feel no a big hole there, but <laughs> uh, you got a you got a seal broke somewhere. It go. sounds like a you know it sounds like a small uh, you know dirt bike or something. <laughs> and so uh, I could feel like I could I feel like I could you know put in a wound back now. There you go. Um, so. Y'all ever, you know, oh, if you ever, if you ever have that. one. That's why I was. That's why I wanted to hear your process compared to some of the ones I've had. Yeah, no, it's, I, I feel well, like. Be I honest with I'm be more concerned about this gunshot wound than I am about that. Yeah. <laughs> well, if you make it through the gunshot wound, just wait because you got some recovery ahead of you. <laughs> <laughs> so it's uh, so the wound back is in me. They give you like a um, to sponge the thing that actually uh, it. What basically what it does is it it applies a vacuum to your wound so it heals like this one had to they heal from the inside out oh. instead of just sealing up and you know causing like hope before the baby. abscess yeah. and you know infection and stuff in there um so they give you a, a cord that's like uh, it's probably like seven feet long which is nice um which becomes it? your leash yes <laughs> yeah. the old ball and chain is what i call it um because boy howdy i wasn't going anywhere without that thing and you know, we had a pretty good connection there at the end. I was I was afraid, not, not afraid. Start calling each other by the first to name. See it go. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, woundy, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so they give you that, and then that goes to the machine, and the machine's a uh, you know a thing by itself. It's the machine, and then it has a canister that keeps all the you know that sludge in there. And then um, they have your satchel that you know you can put it in and actually wear it. And the cord length is actually pretty good because it you know it hangs right below, like it's like that far off the ground. There if you, you don't have it like put up in the satchel, you know. So how many times you step on it? Four, 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 <laughs> four times. Ripped it out three times. <laughs> yeah. So the so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, it it, it 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 sent me into a panic attack the first time. I, uh, two times, the first two times I did it. Third and fourth time, I was like, okay, well, put it back in me. And, <laughs> hey, <laughs> help! And uh, so the first time was like a week after, and so the first probably four days, I didn't, I couldn't really feel anything because it was uh, they they apparently what they use is. They use the um, the scalpel with the cauterizer on it, so it goes through and it you know it burns. We got one over there in a the drawer. Mm. Boy, howdy! Um, don't want to see that. And I got bad memories from that. Just kidding, I didn't see that part. Um, <laughs> but so I didn't feel anything for the first four or five days. So probably by the weekend, probably by like Friday, Saturday, I was starting to get some feeling back. And then by and that next, it was next, not a good feeling. No, was. not at all. It was by that next Monday, I was feeling everything. And the one of the worst parts is um, shout out to my nurse Judy because she fixed this. But the, the also one, shout out to Nay for taking care of you the whole time. Well, yeah, I was going to shout out everybody oh, yeah. at the end. Like Naomi is great. Yeah, like Angel, closing credits. Angel on her. Yeah. Get everybody. Yeah, she's the best nurse that ever um, put up with me because I was an ornery fella those first couple of days. Um, but. So that how they put the the sponge in is like it, they put it in and then it's you know it's sucking everything out and it's, and it's healing at the same time and you only changed it every two days, so the skin would heal to the sponge, and so when they changed it, boy howdy that was something else. What well, about the one lady who didn't do a great job? Yes, I'm not going to name her name because. She's not welcome back. No, <laughs> no, no, no. I don't even. I think like when I like when I picture her in my mind, I just see like a black face, like you know, like in the movie sometimes, like the demons have just like a black face. Yeah, no definition. I, yeah, yeah. I, I, I picture her like that because I can't even. Earl, when you had your wound back, it was because they tried to shoot the president. And you jumped in the way. What happened? <laughs> No, I was there when yeah. it happened, yeah. but I wasn't in the way. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they cut. yeah they had Scoot Earl over to get the present in. Yeah, yeah. Right mm-hmm. Now that that's true. The doctor that I had was going to be Reagan's doctor had they brought him to Bethesda mm-hmm. instead of taking him to uh, the other one. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. The other <laughs> one. Uh, Missed his opportunity. But anyway, they took him to. Uh, the other one and not Bethesda. Yeah. That's got to be a resume builder for a doctor, right? Oh, yeah. I would think so. Save the president. It was life. for Earl. I mean, yeah. Was, oh, they brought a whole team of people. They went over to the National Institute of Health and said, 
Anybody want to sort of like your tail? You want to see something? Y'all come on, go with us. <laughs> <laughs> they come in the room and they kept filing in and filing in. There's about twelve or fifteen of them standing around looking. Yeah. yeah. They were like, I had back "What we have here is." Oh, God. You're like, "I'm Earl." Mm. Well, Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> Here it is. I feel like mine was probably a little bit easier because I couldn't see it, frankly. Mm. My, my, you're talking about that tape. What they had on me was tape going from my shoulder all the way down to about mid-thighs. Ugh. And it had, like, shoelace eyelets all the way in it. Oh, oh God. And that's exactly what they did. Took their shoelaces took out and shoelace, tied you up. Took my shoelaces off my shoes. <laughs> <laughs> and with the, and, but they'd pull it, you know, take the shoe, take the lace out and pull it back and take all that gauze and stuff oh. out, like sponge you talk, and just stand there with a bottle of peroxide. Oh, God. And just pour it in. <laughs> oh, and then dip it out with, sponge, with gauze and all. Oh. And then they'd pack it back full with gauze and all. Tie the shoestring back across. Tie you back up. Back Loop up. swooping so for you, you back So you wore a corset <laughs> on your front. <laughs> pretty oh. much a corset on the front, yeah. Oh, golly. So what? your lady did not do a good job the, the one time. No, the one the one time. So it was kind of funny. Uh, the nurse who came, one nurse came to set us up first thing. I, I don't really remember that one. Um, but then, I mean, I saw her like, not remember the nurse, but not remember that visit. And then uh, Judy, uh, also another great, great lady, took good took excellent care of me um came the next couple of times she was going to be my like stationary nurse full-time nurse and then kelly came in some sometimes but both of those were were excellent and then uh melissa was excellent as well but then uh the lady shall that shall not be named um came in and it was it was funny because it was the monday after the surgery so i had a, a surgery on the monday it was that next monday so also it was the first time that i had to wait two days between the change so they change it monday wednesday friday well this they you know the weekend they don't yep. do it so it was an extra day and so the wound had time to heal to the sponge that much more also i was starting to feel everything mm-hmm. so this monday change i i had already known that it was going to be pretty bad because it, uh, it hurt every time they changed it because it would heal to the thing and they'd pull it out and it was a whole thing but i knew this one was going to be bad because it had that extra day and so the lady comes in, you know, introduces herself, seems nice enough. And, um, you know, I'm just trying to make small talk with her. I'm like, hell, you know, what do you do at, you know. How the, long have you been nursing? How long have you been nursing? What do you do at Kinder? She's like, well, I'm the weekend nurse. I was like, oh, okay, well, that makes sense. You're coming on a Monday, maybe feeling in for somebody. And so I ask her the question, like, what, what do you like, you know, best about, you know, taking care of people in nursing? And she was like, you know, I, I don't really do much visit. I just do setup visits mostly. And, uh, you know that's what I've done for the past couple of years, but I really like wound care. You know, I'm, I'm my uh, what I like to do and what I you know enjoy is taking care of people's wounds. And I was like, pervert. Yeah. Well, that, <laughs> no, well, actually, I thought the opposite. I was like, man, that's good. You know, that's good. You're gonna you know you're gonna get to take care of a wound today. <laughs> <laughs> what little little wound? do you know, you're gonna get to take care of this huge wound today. And I thought it was a good thing. I thought it was, you know, she probably has experience. If you like doing it, you probably are good at it. How'd it go over? Not so good. Not so good. Um, so when they change these things, they turn them off. It's kind of a given um, because you don't want to, you know, vacuum and while you're trying to change it. It cause a whole bunch of issues. I yeah. guess. Um, I know. I Sorry, I know. <laughs> Not I guess, I know. Um so I'm laying there, and um, she starts taking my tape off, which that you know sucks anyways because I'm not a non-hairy fellow um, in some areas. Yeah, look at your face. Yeah, yeah I got hair, <laughs> and that's actually what caused the issue to begin with. Um, but that's the circle of life right there. <laughs> Boy, the circle <laughs> of life. <laughs> And so they, she starts taking off this tape, and it sucks. It's hurting like waxing me, and it was it was something. I, I was hoping it, I would actually just rip out the hair, so yeah. I wouldn't have to deal with it every time. Right. Like it would just hurt the skin, but no, not so lucky. Um, so she starts taking it off, and I don't really realize that it's not off. Like the machine's not off, so it's still you know vacuuming. It still has vacuum power on it. It's like 125 hg, and I'm sitting there and i'm waiting on her to cut it off because i'm thinking maybe she gets the ends off and then cuts it off and then you know does it so i don't have to you know 
I don't know what I was thinking, frankly, because I should have thought better. Um, because she didn't turn it off hmm. the whole time. <laughs> so she gets the tape off and she starts taking it out of me. Well, the tape doesn't like the tape just comes loose from the skin and just hang, like lays back where it was. Like it's not sticky on me because she didn't push it down, but it's still laying there. Well, since the wound back is vacuuming, it's resealing as she's trying to take it out of me. Mm. So she's, she's doing that number. She's pushing yeah, she's, down. She's, yeah, God, she's essentially it. plunging me <laughs> for about about 45 seconds. Uh, it was probably realistically about 20, 25, 30 seconds. It felt like 45 minutes mm-hmm. because it was, it was suctioning try and the tape was trying to reseal because it was laying where it was she was trying to pull it out it was trying to stay in there and it had been an extra day to heal so when i tell you i've never felt a worse pain in my life i haven't because i was trying i was climbing the walls like i got naomi to pinch me like, yeah Norton, you know that's what mom's always done for us is you know whenever you're about to get poked with a needle or something like that just give you a little pinch kind of you know take your brain away from the other pain and so I, naomi's pinching my arm i don't feel it i don't feel her doing anything I, all i feel is an excruciating pain in this wound and it is terrible i'm doing i'm like i can't move my lower body because if i do i know it's going to make it worse yeah so i'm like a it, you, uh, you got a tug of war going on right at the top of you <laughs> yes yes. Oh. yes and she is losing <laughs> she is losing hard this wound back is doing its job boy howdy it was a good one she so I'm I'm laying there and I look like one of the uh, one of the zombies off of The Walking Dead that ain't got no legs no more. Like it's just writhing around just the upper body though. I'm like yeah. I'm literally like grabbing pillow. I grabbed a pillow and I, I'm like like grabbing. I don't know. I'm just like tensing up everywhere and I'm like climbing the wall, which because I'm laying on the bed facing the wall. I'm climbing the wall because I'm in so much pain. So now let me ask you a question before you go. And I just got this picture. Mate, are your your two cats like sitting somewhere watching all this? No, no, no. Oh, they were shoot. gone. They were gone. They they get afraid of thunderstorms and when dad's mad. Uh, well. <laughs> Boy, how they thought I was mad because. I was in, you know, I was. I, I just I had a picture can. of them sitting like on a dresser over there watching this and mm-hmm. doing like every yeah, time. Just watching the tug <laughs> yeah. of war. Yeah. <laughs> that would have been funny, actually. That would have made it a little lighter for me. But no, they weren't. Um, so I'm sitting there. She's tugging a war on, with this wound back in my backside. And I'm in so much pain. Like the worst pain I've ever felt. I don't even know how to describe it. Like, there, you know, there's some pains. It's like stings, burns. I don't know what this was. This was in like hitting my soul on the inside how much pain it was in and uh finally she gets it out and she's like oh sweet we're done like that like that calm that chipper that like i didn't just almost wreck your world like did not have any care and i was like oh i'm sorry that was a little difficult yeah not look at her like this i'm like Oh, are you now? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Almost hit you. <laughs> it was difficult it, for me. It yeah. was terrible. It was not fun at all. Mm. If I could have reached you, I'd have backhanded you. Boy, howdy. I, I feel like I would have because mm. I was I was flailing. I was, and how does she not know? Oh, no. That was the thing, too. I, I didn't realize. I was crying. Uh, it was the same tears though like I don't, when i cry i don't like you know, boo-hoo yeah. uh, it's just straight up tears yeah. like and naomi was like watching me and she said afterwards she felt so bad because she didn't want to like tell the nurse how to do her job because the nurse should know how to do her job and but yeah. she knew that they turned it off right and she felt terrible afterwards which i told her of course she doesn't have to because it's their job to do their right. job um, do it the right way yeah and, and so she's watching me and she was like, I didn't know what to do. I saw you, you know, I saw you tensing up and, and tears started streaming down. I was like, yeah, I don't, I don't know how I looked, how I, you know, what it looked like, but I knew that I was in some pain. Oh yeah. In some pain. And, you know, after that, everything went fine after that. The next, well, I say that the next time, um, the next change, Judy came and it went great. Yeah. Um, and she brought this stuff that's like um, like uh, gauze, but with like a Vaseline type stuff on it. So she put that in first, kept the wound from healing to the sponge, 
lifesaver. Yes, I mean it was a true, true lifesaver. But she checked my Judy checked my blood pressure. At, this lady, didn't, this lady did my vitals beforehand. She wouldn't have wanted to check my blood pressure after that <laughs> because it literally the next time Judy checked them after the um, after the change and my blood pressure was two forty over one twenty. How is that, Earl? Eh, a little high, but not too bad. <laughs> and she she had to wait. Like, she wouldn't tell me. Like the first time she checked, she was like, "Your blood pressure's high, so I might have to stay, you know, a couple of extra minutes, let you calm down." Stayed about five minutes, checked again, said, "Move, still high." Got to stay until after ten. You know, another days 10 later. <laughs> <laughs> after another ten minutes, she you know she checked and it was fine. And then that's when she told me, I was like, "Well, what was it?" Because I was asking, I was like, "Well, how high is it?" And she was like, "It's two forty over one twenty when I checked it earlier." I was like. Well, listen, it had nothing to do with you. Yeah. It had everything to do with the last change and what I was expecting for this one because if it was anything like the last one, I was going to die. Yeah. <laughs> but I was just going to die. Yeah. Just go stroke out right yeah, here. Yeah. I was, but, uh, you know, recovery was, um, I mean, it's funny the, you know, the little stuff you take for granted, like sitting. <laughs> you know, like sitting, literally, breathing, literally you know, sitting living, and laying food. on your back is like too. Like I'm, I, I feel like I have a new appreciation for life now, like because I, you know, didn't get to go outside, didn't get to, you know, I mean, I could stand on my porch, but you know, I got like a four, I got like a ten square foot porch, so it's, it's like you had a penthouse at a prison. Basically, yeah. I mean, yeah. It was really nice. Really nice on the inside, but boy, you still can't leave. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it was... Uh, well, did they uh, ever tape you up or stitch you up or did they just... No. No, they they straight up wound back for eight weeks. And then once it got to the point where up, they were like, up. yeah, it, I mean, it just sealed up. I mean, I still have a little, like a little wound, kind of. I mean, it's about the size of a pea, like, so... Like a twenty two shot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And... uh so, I mean, uh, recovery was um, n- not fun just because, I, I mean, it's, you don't know how many, uh, how. The little things that you take for granted. Yeah, I mean, even just, get, even just getting up, like laying down on my stomach was bad because I'm a back sleeper. But even getting up the way I had to get up was a pain in the ass. Like it was, it was Literally not Literally a pain fun. in the ass. <laughs> it was. <laughs> I don't know about that, Neural, but I'm glad you're back. Yeah. I'm oh yeah. Are you are, now? You are you through with your uh, recovery process? Are you out of that now? Or are you still? Technically, no. I go back to the doctor next week, so I think that's when he's going to clear me. But I've been cleared with home health, so I say yeah. But, so you about ninety nine percent. Yeah, I still got Nurse Nate at home, you know, dry packing me and taking good care of it. So yeah. he asked me how he's doing. I said, "You're all right. Yeah, <laughs> you're gonna be fine. Yeah, he's all right. Oh yeah. well, and if Cape says you're all right, you're all yeah. right. Yeah, there we go. Normally. Well, yeah. cool. we're glad you're back. Mentally, not so much. Right, he's right. You the glue that holds this whole thing together. Yeah, oh boy, I'm because we were like floundering. Color. I mean, we were floundering in here. You know, well, I you know, we, we was in here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, it's like a, it's like a, um, you know, it's like a, it's like a good recipe. You know, if you got it, you know, you got a good, you got to have the salts, the fat, the acidic. You get, you know, you got. Who you calling the fat? You're in the city. I wasn't. I ain't I wasn't, that sick. I wasn't saying anything. I'm Is it like a Jewish <laughs> meal? Yeah, and that's not kosher. I don't think. I don't know if animal fat's kosher. Hasidic. Now that is kosher. That's where you can't get in the country. I see them. <laughs> I thought about doing my mustache like that. Actually, trying to see how long I could grow it, and then like braiding it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I don't. That's going to take a long time, and I don't know if I can. You do should this do that. Yeah, time. you should start growing the. I could do that. I do yeah. have hair on the sides. Yeah. So. You could do that. Who knows? We'll see. <laughs> I came back from the beach on Tuesday, and I came down Dead Deer Road. See and, some uh, of them? No. They must have rare. Really? No, they must have migrated away or something. Or they just cleaned up that day or day before? Maybe. maybe. Yeah. But I saw a uh, coyote, two coyotes on the road, and uh, they could have been like they could have just been sick dogs, but they looked like coyotes. <laughs> And uh, one of them was just moseying down the middle, you know, yellow line, just chilling. I was like, man, I was riding at 3.30 in the morning, so it wasn't a soul in sight. The, but just following, but he keeps yeah. looking back at you. Well, it was kind yeah. of his turf at that point, you know, yeah. during that time. The whole road looked like a ghost town. It was a moonlit summer night. And uh, so I passed him eventually and then uh, kept cruising down. And right near the barbecue shack, the little trailer park, 
there was one just coming out, you know, perpendicular, just moseying, taking his time. I was like, he must live in there. Like he lives in one of the trailers. Well, that's somebody's dog. Yeah. That they they're like, oh, I got a new dog. And they're like, that's a coyote. He's like, yeah, his name's Cody. Like, no, (laughs) no, no, that's a coyote. Dude, that's the poor man's dog right there is a coyote, you know? Yeah. And all them kids in the trailer park, their parents ain't going to adopt a dog. That's no. like $60. Yeah. That's like a month's rent. <laughs> yeah. Like, <come laughs> on, are you kidding me? <laughs> I did see a deer hop over uh, 95, though. Hop over? over? The, yeah, inter- not all the way over. <laughs> and it wasn't like a reindeer. So it took a jump. <laughs> yeah. But he uh, he got out there, and he it was like, luckily there weren't a ton of cars, so it wasn't like Frogger. But I saw him hop over the guardrail, bop, bop, over the median, bop, bop, back in the woods. I was like, damn, you risking your life, son. And then I thought that deer are like the worst person at a surprise party. If you think about it. (laughs) (laughs) I'd have to think about that. Think about it here and stick with me. Because when you go go to a surprise party that's for you, sorry, it has to be for you. Oh. (laughs) And you walk in, there's all, you know, everybody's like, surprise. But there's always one person, usually like a unwell or like a child, and they run up to you and they're like, surprise! <laughs> That's a deer. Yeah. Because when you least expect it, they pop out. Like, surprise! Got you! Yeah. And then you mow them over with your truck, get a $1,000 worth of damage, and I'll get my truck back next week. <laughs> <laughs>